Hello and welcome to another video on Premiere Elements. Today we're going to be looking at some simple animation. So we've got a asset here, a ball, we're going to put that in here. Uh, actually we're going to put it on to layer 2 because on layer 1 we're going to put something else which is going to be going to this button here on the project assets new item. And we're going to go for a color map uh, which is a nice kind of blue color like this one maybe. It creates a color map and then we put this one on there. And we're going to just extend these out to about 20, about there. And we'll extend the color mat out to about there. Okay, now you'll notice there is a slight problem here, which is that this blue, this ball here has got a white background. So I can't actually see the, the, uh, the mat underneath. So there's actually a pretty easy way to fix that. And that is to go into a video merge. Okay, so once we go into the, this button here, so we can go to effects, then we can go to a video merge. And if we put video merge onto this clip now, and then we click on select color here and tick that, you'll see now the white background is gone. All the white has been removed. So by having color of white here, it's removed it all. And we've got what we want, which is the ball on that color matte background. So if you're looking at a clip like this, and for whatever reason, it just looks like a ball like this, you may want to click this button here, this little arrow, collapse, expand track, that will give you this menu back up. So we're going to be looking at the scale, I think would be a good one to look at. Um, so I'm going to go for scale there and we're going to add a keyframe. So that will add a keyframe at the beginning. And that's really the only keyframe you need to create using that button. Now if we actually go into the scale menu, it's right here, okay. Um, so we're going to change that now to really tiny. Then we've got about a 24 second clip, don't we? So we've got about a 24 second clip. So we say, so we've got a range here of, of of 0 to 200. So if we say about, you know, like 80, uh, say about 70. Uh, so if we say about 70 for the second section, so that keyframe is going to be 0, right? So we'll go to like 8 seconds. And we want this to be, say, about 70. And you can see it actually created a keyframe for you there. Uh, now we're going to go to 16 seconds. We'll just put it right underneath. Like I say, it's not exact what I'm doing here, but uh, it will give you a good indication of how the animation is actually going to work. And we'll go to maybe a little bit under there. So now if we take a look at the whole clip, you can see that it's actually created an animation for you. Let's just see if that's reasonably smooth. It looks pretty smooth, right? And then it stops there. So I guess it would make sense just to go to the very end of the clip and just put it all the way to the top. So it's like that. So that is one cool way to do an animation, right? Um, there's actually some additional things we could do as well. We're going back to project assets. We make sure we've got our ball selected here. Then what we can do is we can go to file, we can go to interpret footage, and we can go to invert alpha channel. Let's take a look at that. Now you can see we actually get a box appearing that goes larger and larger. So it's actually kind of like an interesting way to do things. Uh, and this box actually can be very useful. We'll, we'll use that for other things, but we're not going to do that on this time. Let's try position. So you'll notice when we go to position, again, there's no keyframes. So this is actually quite a good way. And again, we'll create the keyframe at the beginning. And we'll choose where we might want that to be at the beginning. Okay, so I move the position there to zero. Okay, now we're going to go to about 8 seconds. We've got position there. It's, it's, it's zooming up there, okay. So let's go to 8 seconds, and we'll move the position. So that was about 960. Uh, where should we move it? Let's just try 200. We'll just experiment a little bit here. 200, and then at 16, we'll move it to 400. See what happens with that. And then at the end, we'll move it to 600, shall we? I'm hoping we're getting... So we'll move that to 600. Move it a little bit across. So now let's take a look and see what happens. So you can see it's a more dynamic effect now. 